Tacos and Cocoons by Brandon Boyd. It is 10 songs, 40 minutes long. Um, Brandon Boyd, uh, the frontman lead singer of Incubus, one of my favorite rock bands, and, and oh, you know, a band that we have reviewed many times on here. We did review the Diamond My Dryer single, um, which came out early this year, I would say. Yeah, like a month or two um, ago. Yeah, maybe like January or so, or early February. I don't know anymore. I, I don't know, man. I just work here. Um, <laughs> but it was it's nice to, to finally be able to, to get, talk about this album. Um, so we didn't get to last week because apparently this year is like music vomit where every album is coming out right now. So, But anyways, this is an interesting record because... Brandon Boyd is the epitome of an artist. Like, that's what he does. He creates visual arts. He does a lot of paintings and murals and a bunch of different stuff on lawn with his um, musical art and everything. So the dude is just constantly, constantly creating. Also, I forget how old he is. He's, like, in his mid-40s. Right? Yeah, which is, like, wild like, young considering how, like, long Incubus has, like, yeah, been around. Incubus has been around since, like, the, yeah, the, since the mid-90s, I'd say. I think Morning View, Morning View was around that time. I like to say, but anyways, yeah, Brandon Boyd's forty six. Yeah, forty six. He's getting them Tom York numbers. Like, was Brandon Boyd like literally fourteen in Incubus? Like, what the hell? I know, apparently. But anyways, um, it starts off with Diamond My Dryer, which is the that lead single that came out, and it's a track I really like. I don't know if I would put it as an opening track maybe but it is a track i really really enjoy um it just sets off the the rest of the album a little iffy i mean that might be my only complaint of of really big complaint of the record it's just having that as your opening track i'd rather put maybe pocket knife or more better uh, as the track and then have diamond my dryer second or third or something like that yeah i would rather it be that way just because it's such a, a dark song and everything with that and the rest of the album isn't necessarily that so it's just interesting with it but anyways i do thoroughly enjoy that track a lot um second track second third tracks are good where you have um better universe which just kind of picks up the tempo a little bit then you have Pocket Knife, which is also onto that EP that was released earlier, which I do like as well. I um, really liked Better Universe. That line, um, did you read the book or did you only see the movie or that kind of thing? Yeah. Like it's it's and a lot of this record called me back to like the golden age of alternative music to me, like the to two yeah. thousands. Um, yeah. I think it's styled like that, but done largely in a new way. And Better Universe is one of those tracks. So I feel like this kind of thing other than like this album that we're hearing it on, I feel like it would only come out in like 2000s, like on the end credits of some like 2000s movie about like adventure and friends <laughs> finding their way. And like, it, it feels like one of those kind of like alternative rock kind of things that was just super popular at that time. And this is a good recreation of that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, with... <laughs> someone who's made music for this long it's very interesting again you know we, we had we always talk about the sonic face to see how someone you know evolves their sound after years and years and decades and decades even um talk about arcade fire earlier on this but brandon boyd it's great yeah, better universe is a great representation of like what you could do with a sound that is old but you can still make it sound new like you could still incorporate different things incorporate different things into record and that's the epitome of this record and it's something that is impressive with me really of Brandon Boyd and Incubus in general of them when they all get together on this, um, that they have been able to do something, you know, like you had eight come out and then you had trust side fall a and fall uh, trust, side, trust fall side a and B, which came out a couple of years ago, which is one of our favorite Rocky EPs ever reviewed on this podcast. And now with this, it's a really good alternative rock record. Um, more in the middle of the record you have, um, Two months a day, more better, which actually like more better. Um, at Infinitium and and those tracks in the middle, I liked a lot too. It gets a little bit slow, if anything, kind of might, might be another critique. But towards the end, you have some fantastic, fantastic tracks towards the end of it. I, I have to <clears throat> one, it's Ad Infinitum. I just like love the word so. Infinitum, so I like had to go through that. And then the last tracks, I, I just kept thinking of like different alternative records I've liked in the past several years. So like New Dark Age, I kept thinking, oh, Little Dark Age. And this is totally like <laughs> unrelated to it's totally unrelated to the song, doesn't sound alike, but I was just doing this. And I saw Petricor, and of course, I think of the 1975. Yeah, exactly. And so like 
I, th- these are just like me being a Little music emotions. head association yeah. things here there they're not at all related and I don't think Brandon Boyd's purposely going and here's going to be my MGMT reference and here's going to be my shout out to Maddie Healy I don't think so <laughs> um, but I, I it, it does go back to I really like this project as a callback like one of the silent greats doing a really solid alternative record project like i get the same kind of feeling from this as i did from ed o'brien's solo thing eob oh, that he Brazil. released yes oh, yeah. yeah um yeah that entire record where like it's fantastic yeah these are some really good on its own tracks in its own album contained a really good representation and version of music from a certain era being redone yeah, now better with a little bit of in- experimentation with a little bit of that smarter flair you get from a veteran. Yeah. I mean, much agreed because with like example, towards the end of the record, you have Petrichor, which is one of my favorite songs on the record. It's just beautiful. It's like Brandon Boyd's voice is one of my favorite alternative rock voices ever. And he still has it. He can still hit the notes and stuff that he's been doing for 20 plus years, which is impressive to do because it's very, very hard to be able to keep your vocals when you get into your 40s and in your mid 40s, nonetheless. And with that, it's, he sounds just as good as he did on Morning View and stuff in the 90s and early 2000s. It's, it's incredible. And yeah, it just, to me, it shows, you know, you can tell when someone is genuine about the art that they make and someone who is not genuine the art they make. You know, someone who just does it just to, to push numbers up, just to push things for the record company or whatever. And, and Brandon Boyd has nothing to prove. He has nothing to do, right? He's been on the top of the world for a long time. And with that, he's just, he likes to create. And with that, every song, the lyrics in these, are, in these tracks are incredible. There's a lot of different hidden meanings, a lot of different, like, superlatives and stuff that are in these tracks that I really need to dig down and dig deeper into myself. Um, it's just I don't have the time because we got to review 48,000 fucking songs a week. Um, but this is one of those records where, to me, it's going to keep growing and growing. And the more I listen to it, the more I'm going to appreciate it. The more of these songs I can kind of deconstruct and figure out more. Like The example, more better? Patrick, <laughs> yeah, the more better. Exactly. But again, like, you know, this... Patrick You're going to say an example, Patrick Corr, yeah. Yeah, it might be five years from now, I might be, oh my god, I finally understand what he means by it, or something like that. Which is something that you don't get that often anymore in music, and especially in this alternative rock space, where you can get a couple things here or there that might last you a year or two, but this is one of those records that I really like. And, yeah, it's impressive. It's very good. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. Arbitrary scale, because uh, we do arbitrary scales every week on Audio Face, because our review is our review, and if we actually gave it some actual ranking system, you would all hate it and give a shit. So, it's going to be birds, birds. Uh, this is going to be the middle finger. That's the, my my favorite bird. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is going to be all the birds. I can, I'm now running out of like the bird breeds I can do off the top of my head, and I don't want to give this. Um, some of like one of the more annoying bird breeds. So this will be the bald eagle. Bald eagle? That's a good choice. That's yeah. A good choice. Endangered, a little old, but majestic. And when you see one, you stop and you go, damn. I really want to blow That's up a country eagle. in the Middle East, <laughs> in the Middle East right now. <laughs> I want to go protect some oil fields. Um, this is a burring owl. Mm. Wise owl, but it'll fuck you up if need be. Not, not, I. Just, I feel like we should get an animated movie about an owl soon. We we haven't gotten one of those in a while. I, I would like an animated movie about an owl. I think I would enjoy that. Owls go hard. Um, owls go super hard. I've actually been around and held owls before, and they just stare at you, and you're like, are you going to kill me? And he's like, I don't know. Step. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to kill me? They just like tilt their head. <laughs> it was like, walk around to find out, and I'm like, all right, respect. That's my kind of bird. <laughs> 